I'm here to talk about the core curriculum in upper division mathematics courses. We're pretty comfortable asking our students to grapple with the core questions in their core classes. And what I found is that many times, once they get to their upper division classes, they think they're done. And so in modern geometry, we look at an axiomatic system, which means that we look at what we choose to believe without proof and how that affects the mathematical world that we're building. And so in order to tie that to the core, my students write This I Believe essays. And it's based on a 1950s program. And they look at the website, thisibelieve.org, and then they write an essay. And it's based on one of their core beliefs. It has nothing to do with mathematics. Um, they write about things like, I believe in home, and I believe in serving. I believe in teaching. I believe in helping others. And then they write about how that core belief affects their personal moral code and the way that they view the world. And so we get to tie in the mathematical world and the axioms and how they build that world and personal beliefs and how they build a personal code and a personal world. And so it's really a great opportunity to tie the core to an upper division curriculum, especially for students who may have forgotten that they were supposed to be grappling with the core question. So one of the things that happens in modern geometry is that we look at a set of axioms, those are the things we believe without proof, and then we change one of them, and we find out how the mathematical world changes. And an example of this is if you change what you believe about parallel lines, then you can change all sorts of things about the mathematical world. In particular, the one that surprises students the most is that in some mathematical worlds, Triangles don't have to have 180 degrees. This is a triangle on a sphere. So we're used to flat triangles on flat pieces of paper. And in that case, they do have 180 degrees if you add up the sum of their uh, measures of their angles. But on a sphere, this is a triangle. We take three points, the blue dot, the green dot, and the red dot. And we connect them with lines, which are the shortest distance between those points. On a sphere, that's a great circle. Students are usually surprised that we can do this and that it even could possibly measure the world, except we do actually live on a sphere. So it's not unreasonable to think that this might be a triangle on a sphere. And if you look at the angles, they're all right angles. And so if you add up the degrees in this triangle, it's 270. This all comes from just changing one axiom. Because we can do that, it leads us to a nice discussion about what happens if you change one of your personal beliefs, and how does that change the way you interact with the world. So the This I Believe essay comes up again in a discussion about who am I and how do my personal beliefs affect the way that I interact with the world.